What is happiness? Happiness is our attitude towards life, ourselves, current events, and the events that are going to happen. It's your positive thoughts, words, and visualizations that are the source of personal growth and its success in life. Positive thinking is the expectation of joy, health, successful completion of any situation, and in making decisions. Regardless of what you would expect, it comes to you. Not so long ago, quite officially, scientists found the gene of happiness. At the 17th European Congress on Food Chemistry, one thought persistently appeared at every discussion. We are what we eat, and then our spiritual condition and our happiness, to some extent, is determined by the material component. So when we talk about happiness in general and happiness at the molecular level, we still need to know that there is a spiritual wave part and the material part, so each person has to find the perfect balance. The formula of happiness, per se, which will suit his own perception of happiness. Genetic engineering and molecular biology Many people will shrug their shoulders when they hear these phrases. What lies behind these complex definitions? The golden age of the Soviet genetic science, which gave the impetus to Kazakhstani genetics, began shortly after the October Revolution of 1917. The foundation of the biological sciences in Kazakhstan was possible due to the formation of the Kazakh State University in 1934. There were many hopes associated with genetics. Selection of highly productive plant varieties and animal breeds could positively impact the agrarian sector of Kazakhstan. On September 1, 1948, the Department of Genetics and Darwinism was opened in the Kazakh State University. At the turn of the 1990s, the first method of reproduction of DNA from a small sample size was performed. The technology of artificial displacement of DNA sequences from one organism to another was used for the first time. In April 2002, there was a truly historic event. In order to verify the viability of early embryos in microgravity in space, the missile with a precious cargo on board the genetic material was launched from the Cosmodrome by Kanur. The idea of this project belonged to Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. Just like a rocket taking off into space, the genetics of Kazakhstan had its new successful start. Kazakhstan was able to take its rightful place among the country leaders in biotechnology research. What is the state of Kazakhstani genetics today? This question is a matter of life of the 21st century. Conservation of genetic resources, which is the basis of well-being of the food security in the world. As you know, the south and the southeast of Kazakhstan are one of the world centers of origin of known plant species, and mankind should be grateful to Kazakhstan. It is necessary to grow the cattle which will be adaptable to our local climatic conditions. In the year 2000, Austrian scientists from the University of Vienna started to monitor the mountain ecosystems in Europe. During the seven years of research, they found out that the endemic population of the wild forms of plants that grow only in a certain places significantly decreased. The Institute of Ecology and Sustainable Development is closely engaged in preservation of the gene pool of wild relatives of cultivated plants. It is a priority of our state because it's not only a treasure of Kazakhstan, it's also a treasure of the world community. Avoiding micromutations and controlling erosion of the DNA, scientists retain the original properties of a certain class of plants. This means creating a collection fund of the wild forms. On the territory of the Institute of Botanic, there are gardens of the wild apricot, walnut and severs apple. Among the species, there were common pistachio and pistachio vera. 
Southern region of Kazakhstan is the northernmost territory of where this endemic grows. Today, the breeding material of our scientists who make an invaluable contribution to the global gene pool of horticultural crops is used by pomologists from all around the world. We have about seven reserves here in the Jungar Park. We offer the government to open the Turbogatai National Park because this particular genetic reserve is located at the most remote parts of our nature. In early 2006, scientists have made DNA testing of approximately 2,500 types of modern apple varieties. The results show that the ancestor of all varieties of apple is Sievers apple from foothill areas of trans ili Alatau. That means that this particular type was the ancestor of all common varieties of apples in the world. Kazakhs living in these foothills cultivated not only cereal crops, but also planted fruit trees of the best forms of Kazakh wild apples. The Asian Great Silkway passed through these places. Hence, together with caravans, our apple tree began to spread to the east and the west. In the Kazakh village of Rajar in 1796, Sievers described the Kazakh apple for the first time. Catherine Pax, a leading biologist of France, says that Europeans experienced a shock when they learned that the world still has a miracle genetic basis for new varieties. These apple trees really are reminiscent of paradise, she says. These types of apple can be red, yellow or white. They may bloom early in the year or later. These apples can be of different shapes and different taste qualities, but the type is only one, the Sievers apple. Sievers apple is the latest and most promising reserve. Today, the Kazakh Research Institute of Horticulture and Viticulture is engaged in clearing virus of valuable forms of clonal apple rootstocks. For their recovery, Kazakhstani scientists use complex microbiological methods. We study the compatibility of a porta with various forms through DNA technology. They were planted here in order for us to take a particular DNA. The world-famous Aporta will celebrate its 150th birthday. The birthplace of apples is going through a real horticultural revolution. The success of the next ambitious project will depend on Kazakhstani scientists. The value of the wild apple is important. The fact is that a large number of varieties were formed in our conditions, in our unique mountains. Even today, Dutch tulips are considered the standard of beauty and the highest quality, and a few centuries ago they were estimated by a fabulous price. Once the entire beer brewery was given for only a single tulip bulb. You know very well our tulips. Those are Dutch tulips, a Kazakh tulips. Dutch ambassador always says thank you to Kazakhstan. And when they had a summit of scientists, they have named the new tulip type Nursultan Nazarbayev. Still, there is no country in the world that can boast that the unique species of any ecological type was given the name of the president. Usually they give the name of a scientist. Currently, Kazakhstan is doing everything to preserve the biological diversity of tulips. With the support of the UN Development Program, a number of projects for the conservation of Kazakh tulips, the mother of all tulips on Earth, was implemented in Kazakhstan. Today, a pilot work with endemic tulips to produce new varieties is conducted. Scientists are interested in wild tulips. In the meantime, our eyes are enjoying especially bred varieties of tulips called Astana that are planted around the Baiterek monument. Kazakhs considered Tibet and Tazi as one of the seventh treasures. The revival of this particular breed and entering this rare docks in the Red Book is extremely important. There are only about 500 of them left in Kazakhstan. This is a national treasure which is a part of the Seven Wonders of Kazakhstan, or Zhitikazana. This semi wild animal easily adapts to different life conditions. Tazi types of dogs saved villages in times of Jude. They caught poultry and brought it to the house of owner. One Tazi could feed an entire village. 
Tibet, on the other hand, rescued livestock from wolves. One of the first researchers of Tazi type of dogs in Kazakhstan described a case when a single Tazi was given as a kalim for a girl instead of 47 horses. That's how precious this type of dog was. Rock paintings in Almaty region suggest that this breeds of dogs in the territory of present-day Kazakhstan has been known to men for 4,000 years. Ecologist Melcy Lusizov and his daughter Camilla are involved in breeding and conservation of this valuable Kazakh breeds for more than 20 years now. But Tazi means from Kazakh, clean. This is a unique and favored breed among Kazakhs. Earlier, not everyone had it. It was only available for wealthy people who went hunting. At the time, it was a traditional thing, and it lived in a yurt, the only animal that was ever allowed in the yurt. And a long selection played a crucial role in cultivating this particular unique breed. However, despite this great history, the breed is experiencing not the best of times. There are many threats to the Kazakh disease, not only as breed, but also as an element of the national treasure. There is a paradoxical situation in which the lack of commercial components in favor of traditional ethnic standards threatens a gradual leakage of the gene pool of Kazakh disease. In Kazakhstan, there are still disease and Tibets are left and we're still able to preserve and increase this truly priceless treasure. And finally, Taziz and Tobets are real monuments of culture and history of the Kazakh people and our ancestors. In the past 20th century, the national competitive brands were established with a focus on sustainability. A Kazakh white breed cows, Kushum, Mogalshar, Jibia types of horses. They have become global players in the field of environmentally friendly production. Kazakh National Agrarian University has been successfully implementing the application of science and animal genetics. Through DNA diagnostic methods and gene diagnostics, resistance to different disease can be detected in the animals, which help creating a line of genetically resistant animals. The more rigorous the selection is, the more unwanted mutations are accumulated in breeding. In this regard, our animals are better off. We can be proud of the fact that our scientists were able to cultivate a new breed of sheep, a Kazakh merino, for the first time in the world. We need to change the culture of livestock and revive it in the light of new scientific, technological, managerial achievements, said Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. The head of state is confident that it's time for the country to cut unproductive cattle. According to the president, our Asian art of breeding livestock can be very beneficial for the country. We are now able to cultivate new breeds without spending on the selection process 20-30 years of genetics, which usually took so long before. Development of molecular genetic techniques allows the development for marker system to determine animals which are especially valuable genetically at an early age. Today, scientists are conducting selections based on breeding animals for the dairy gene, wool productivity gene or horse resistance gene. In particular, our laboratory, together with Chinese genetics, conducted genetic studies targeted at using the DNA method of Kazakh breeding horses. Another not less important area of applied research for Kazakhstan scientists is the control of the horse's origin. During excavations near the Botai settlement in the northern Kazakhstan, these views have changed. Analyzing numerous scientific evidences, an international team of scientists from Russia, Kazakhstan, France and the United States, led by the famous English scientist Autrim, came to the conclusion that domestic horses appeared no more than 6,000 years ago in present-day Kazakhstan. This Sensational discovery requires additional DNA testing to have the most reliable proof and the viability of this theory.
And interestingly enough, cups were found, which has even preserved the production technology of kumis. The results allow us to draw conclusions that Kazakh horse stands apart from the other horses and have its own genetic profile. It has its own genetic passport. As a result of many, brilliant in its conception and execution, this finest experiments in the field of molecular genetics enriched fundamental discoveries that have already been widely reported in the practical application in modern Kazakh science. It's time to pay a special tribute to genetics as a science. <laughs>